Welcome to another episode of No Man's Sky with King Drama and today we're going after crash ships so let's get into it. Um, today I'm going to give you some tips on how to become an elite scrap dealer. Alright first thing you're going to need are these storage containers and a base so once you get your base and you have your storage containers you start just dropping them more the merrier more the merrier um, this is going to give us free navigational data and um, antimatter and housing um, I'm not going to hit them all but I'll give you an idea see there we got, we got three navigational data already housing okay you get the idea this is a rinse and a rinse and repeat process so you can get in your ship fly away come back and they reset or you can use um, teleporters uh, short-range teleporters all right let's call in our ship Now, you take these navigational data to the space station and trade them in for maps. I had already done that. Wait, 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 wait. So, I'm, I got plenty, I got plenty. Um, you're also gonna need an Atlas Pass 1 in order to even get anything out of these uh, storage containers. And these are the items you're gonna need to repair the ships once you find them. Oh, and then there's a couple other things. Um, so you get the antimatter and the housing, and that's going to give you the fuel you need. I'm jumping around. All right, so we got that part covered. Let's uh, head off into space. Okay, once you get up into space, go ahead, pop out your galaxy map, and look for a system. Depending on, you know, if you want fighters, you go with the Viking, haulers, you go for the Gex. I believe sh I find sh shuttles and fighters with the Kovacs. And we kind of want at least five planets. Okay, so <clears throat> that's good because we want that one out of the way. Whatever you do, do not clear that. So the idea is to get them all to pop and then we'll only have crash sites left. Since the navigation data is free and it's unlimited, um, don't be shy on using them. Okay, so we got the uh, Raider crash site located. There isn't an observatory. Three or four pattern when it see there's three 
um, when it comes to them, so don't think that you didn't find anything. But sometimes you won't find anything. Okay, so what do we got? There's our first one. So you just keep popping them. <clears throat> if you get down somewhere um, and there's nothing, do three or four in a row as quick as you can. Because we're trying to eliminate um, clearing out the banded buildings and wasting time. And we're only looking for a, a class or better or something big or something nice that you just want. That's a B class. Um, we're gonna go ahead and clear it out. I'm not digging the uh, new effects. And then we'll pop another one. Make sure you have enough um, because you can do this for a while. it in the space station you will find it yep yeah I'll give you that and every time you find a spot um, you can get some fairy technology Okay, we'll fire up another one, another one, and three times a charm. So, like I said, don't be scared. Do four. Uh, you get past four, then you might want to move around a little. Okay, we got another one. Look at there. A nice hauler. See, now that's not bad. C class. Um, you, you're definitely going to get a little bit of money on this, but it's a C class. K, they'll break it down. You'll, you'll get something. You'll get something. That's a good find. That's a good find. Um, we're going to clear it out and keep looking. C 
So if you stop and you grab every ship, uh, the lower the seas or whatnot, um, you're going to waste uh, valuable time. Because the more you pop, the better the chances you're going to have, of course, finding something good. Another ship. Alright, cool, we got a fighter. Well, it's a C-Class, but look at that. It's worth about as much as that hauler. I mean, if you're into finding your own ship and you want to fix it up, which I have done and prefer to do, clear it out all right let's do one more wrong button okay see I always put my maps in this spot right here in my ship this is my ship I use um, this way every time you click on it it's ready to go and voila Another crash site. All right. Now, an another little trick. Let's go ahead and find the trading post. Okay, so the trading post I like more than the space station because I'm going to find more, more ships landing. You can get do this quicker, but enter a system, find a trading post, and it will show you what ships you're going to find um, when you go looking. So you can either just do it blindside and just go in it like I did. They'll land um, pretty quick. The yellow one. See that one there we found. I'm not sure if it had a pilot or not. No, I think we cleared that one out. There's an exotic. I... But in the time, you might find that exotic. There's a big red one we found. We found that one already. Um, so yeah, that, this will give you an idea of the type of ship that are um, crashed. I mean, two to three landed we already found. We'll do another uh, set. Let's um, see what lands. I mean, that's a cool one right there. Now the class, it doesn't mean the one you see because there's different classes. Uh, that's kind of a, a random deal right there. But an exotic, that was cool. class we had a C class worth more to my ship <laughs> all right 
I believe we found that one too, didn't we? So yeah, that's, so that's a tip. Uh, give you an idea. Save you a lot of time if you're looking for something in particular. Let's do one more. Now that I've seen that exotic, I was kind of excited, you know. Big yellow, big yellow. It's bumblebee. Big yeller. It ain't much. Um I think we'll go ahead and take it. We'll do a claim on it. Okay, we own it. Now gonna go scrap and um, we want to go to the space station and move our freighter so we will find the space station so the the idea is to load your ship your freighter up with the ships you want and then we're going to position the freighter outside the space station um, through time you can collect all the um, necessary stuff you need to fix all the ships even if you want to keep them um, this way it's just easier instead of taking one ship at a time back and forth from the planet storage uh, dedicated to your salvage then you can have everything you need in it okay so you don't have to worry what's in your inventory as long as you have it in the main storage um, we're gonna go ahead, fix that, and fix that. Um, if I was on the planet, I'd fix the shield. So right there, you have everything you need. If you don't have the supplies, you just fly in real quick trip. Real quick trip back, grab another ship, rinse and repeat. Alright, that's it with another episode. I hope you've learned something that you can take away and apply it to your own gameplay. Um, key thing. Pound away at it, get some storage uh, containers, build a nice base. Um, you can see we brought Bumblebee back. We need to, yeah, go scrap him. So, um, yeah, I hope you had fun. And if you like the video, uh, feel free to subscribe, hit the like button. I'm in the process of even making more videos. So, thank you.